Last time on Adventure Adrift. While waiting for the bowsprit repairs to be finished, we get back to work on Varuna ourselves, finding some projects to keep us busy. We begin to make some modifications to our problematic anchor locker. Then we move to the back of the boat and working on adding some shelving into our large cockpit lockers. In this episode, we continue on with our projects to improve our organization on board, as well as simply killing time for the boatyard to be finished with their work. We have been anxiously awaiting to return to sea, and although we have been able to find the silver lining on our land time, we were more than ready to cast off the lines. Found your pirate hiding place. While we're here in the boatyard, figured we'd get some foam to try to put into our into our fridge to try to reduce a lot of the airspace in there. To, so we got some nice closed cell foam from one of the other guys in the boatyard here. So we cut some. I'm just gonna wrap it in aluminum tape, I think it is, like duct tape type stuff. Our refrigeration is a Seafrost BD and draws between 2.6 to 5.6 amps, depending on the settings, and can draw an additional amp if we use the water cooling option, which we have yet to do. So one of the major reasons we want to do this is try to save on energy. We have pretty good solar on board, decent, um, but it's something that we want to add more of biggest power draw on the boat is our refrigeration. So with this, we hope our refrigerator can be a bit more efficient. Um, it won't have so much empty space to fill. You want another eight inch piece? Once we had set the cleats in place with epoxy, it was time to reinforce them with two layers of fiberglass. Using two inch by eight inch sections, we soaked the sheets in resin, then layered them over the cleats. We worked into the night, laying fiberglass onto the cleats, but we ended up running out of the fiberglass and had to wait for the chandlery to reopen the next morning. Just like our epoxy skills, we still need a lot more work to get our fiberglassing down. The more we do it, the more we learn, and if one thing is for certain, it's a lot easier to put on than sand back and get covered in glass fibers. Not content at just working the commercial side of boat maintenance and repair, this end of the boatyard is also the unloading station for the large squid boats that have collected their catches around the Santa Barbara Channel and the Channel Islands themselves. These boats, which use high-powered lights to attract the squid to their boats, return to port here where they offload the squid through large suction tubes, bringing them up to the cleaning stations in the boatyard. After being packed on ice and shipped off, 
It's ironic that much of this squid will be sent to Asia for processing before returning to the U.S. as a finished product. With our bowsprit officially permanently attached and the holes made through the UMHW, we could finish up our anchor locker project and put all that chain back to where it belongs. Our 250 feet of 5 16 high test chain has been good to us. And the addition of a 44 pound rockna will add to a good night's sleep while on the hook. Feeling the call of the ocean, we could see the end so near. But with a welder's resignation leaving the boatyard short handed, we would be relegated to one final weekend in the boatyard. We sat and waited with the tease of the ocean, the islands that lay offshore, and our grand plans to finally make our trip to San Miguel Island a reality so close. We're gonna go check out this boat that came in the other day. It has a huge hole in it. Of course, like our beloved Varuna, many of the boats in the yard are not there by choice. We enjoy living on the hook and exploring places far afield. However, it is essential for us to keep our wits about us and not get complacent. So this boat dragged anchor out at the Channel Islands. Mother Nature and the power of water and wind are a force that we do not want to underestimate. So you can see all the electrical wires in here and you can actually see like straight through into the cabin. It doesn't feel very sturdy. I don't know how they brought this back. Crazy. We have seen many close calls and wish everyone fair winds and safe travels. So we don't know how they got it back from the islands. So that's a pretty long choppy sail, but it's obviously missing a few pieces, bent prop.
that's all for this episode guys not long now until we're back out on the water if yeah. you like this episode uh, we love it when you give us a thumbs up and we do like to read your comments down below so please feel free to leave something definitely and if you'd like to support the making of these videos you can join our patron crew and click the link right up here on the side also if you haven't already subscribed you can click the link on the side here so you don't miss out on our latest episode until next time guys cheers bye